Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mike Morgan here from Morgan Designs and I wanted to share with you a really cool way to make your own custom alphas for ZBrush. And these alphas are great because you can add a bunch of uh, super high-tech details to a pretty basic model and really step up your 3D model. So here we go. There's two ways to do it and I'm about to show you two of them. There's actually more than two ways to do it. Because you can do it in ZBrush itself, you can do it in Adobe Illustrator, you can do it in Photoshop, <clears throat> and I'm sure there's probably a million other ways to do it. But I'm gonna show you two. Let's start in Photoshop. As you can see, I have a bunch of alphas that I've previously made, and they're right here. And you see how they're all gray? None of them are like real white white. That's what we want. We want to go for that. So everything that's light or white is more 3D and it's coming at you. So everything that's black is not. Okay, so we're going to kind of take one of these right here. Let's take this one right here, for example. And you see that? Everything that's lighter is coming at you more. And you got real subtle grays. So those little subtle grays in there, they really show up a lot actually in your model. And you'll see. So let's delete all this and start our own. Delete, delete. So I'm going to do a new layer. I'm going to take this uh, lasso, or this uh, polygon lasso tool, and I'm going to make just kind of a neat little sci-fi shape. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to overthink it a lot. I'm going to take my paint bucket tool, fill it in. Maybe I'll take my rectangular marquee tool and kind of straighten up this line here that's kind of ghetto. And maybe I'll cut in a little like little couple details and whatnot here. Then I can take my eraser tool. It's at 100% opac opacity right now. And I'm, I'm gonna just kind of cut in some designs. So now we're getting kind of a complex situation going on here now. I'll take my eraser tool again, make it a little bigger, maybe cut in that and that. All right, so we got a pretty, pretty funky uh, shape right here. So this is all just one gray right there. So I can take, take my eraser again or my paintbrush and you know cut in some different designs as well. So let's see, let's try to cut in like, let's see, so that will come back a little bit. So everything that I do right now is gonna come back closer to the model a little more. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, so there we go. So there's some action right there. Um, and just to show you, maybe I'll do another, uh, another kind of level. Each gray gives you a different level. I wonder if I can grab a different kind of brush here. You really want to use only only a square brush or, or a round brush for this stuff. But this that'll look cool. Okay. So I could take that and I could just duplicate it uh, by pressing Alt and Shift and then go to Edit and I can go to Flip Horizontal and I can make this kind of number right here. So let's say I was very stoked on this. I'm gonna merge these together, uh, merge. So let's say I was very stoked on this setup right here. And I'm ready to take it out and take it into ZBrush. So let's, let's enlarge it, kind of center it. That's a good spot, that's a good spot. So I'm happy with that, so let's I don't like how this is sharp right there, so I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Get rid of that. Let's get that to 100%, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so let's save this out. So we're gonna go to File, Save As, Save a Copy, Save it as a JPEG. It can also be a PSD. And we're gonna call it, um, rad test rad test by Morgan designs 
And as you can see, I had a bunch of the other alphas in there. I'm going to have the, all the alphas that I've designed. I'm going to put them up on ArtStation and Gumroad for you. So let's go over to ZBrush. ZBrush. Now we have this dude right here. So this is just a thick panel uh, that's been d divided, subdivided. It's up to 9.9 .9 mil. Okay, so I got a couple other uh, alphas on here that I was trying out. So I want to show you this. So if I go to my alpha section here, I can import a new one. See that? Import. And then I got to look, look for rad, because rad's what we called it. Rad test. All right, now we got our new alpha just populated here. Now make sure you have like your standard brush. I don't think you could probably be any brush, but just, I got my standard brush. But this is important, your stroke. So that current stroke is drag select. And then also my focal shift is at negative 100. It's not up like this. It's at negative 100. Currently my intensity is right here, but we can I can show you the difference on that. So now when I drag this out, we're going to have our new alpha. How sweet is that? Isn't that beautiful? Negative, it'll cut it in. And then intensity, if I do it up a little more, it's going to be more intense. How sick is that, right? Now you guys are going to be unleashing fury with your own alphas. So that's how you do the Photoshop version. Why don't I take a second and show you how to do it in Illustrator too. So in Illustrator, um, probably something I should have said is start out by 1000 by 1000 pixels at 300 DPI. Um, Illustrator doesn't have DPI, so just start out at 1000 by 1000 pixels. So that's the size you want. And then just make sure your background's black. Okay, so with Photoshop, I want to show you this image size. So when you're creating your your new startup file, go a thousand by thousand pixels, resolution 300 DPI. Let's move back over to Illustrator. So this is kind of cool because um, you know you can do like outer glows and well you can do that in Photoshop too, but you can add effects like outer glows and stuff like that. Let me show you a little bit about this one. So we got, let's say we got some sort of weird sci-fi thing we wanted to make again. Um, like, like so. And you can take your white direct selection tool and kind of manipulate this around. I don't feel like I need this one. like I need that one either okay so then I, I can uh, hit alt and duplicate it but I'm not ready to do that yet let's do a couple other colors so let's do let's do a couple other like I'm not I shouldn't say colors because they're actually gray tones so what you want so let's do this kind of like And you could do this for days. You could go on and on and on till the break of dawn, uh, making alphas the way you want. Uh, one thing I would recommend is just don't overthink it. Just whip them out. Even real basic ones. And that's my problem is I get too, too detailed. See this? Watch. If I take my white uh, arrow, it's called the direct selection tool. And if I click on the shapes, these little white things come up for the corners. I can round off my corners. Let's round off all these corners too. So it's got a kind of a different look. And then let's uh, put in some, maybe like a bolt here or something. So like I was saying earlier, black is going to be like the base of your model. White is going to be coming out at you. So let me show you what happens when you add these like outer glows. So if I go to select them all and if I go to effects, 
stylize outer glow you're gonna see that you're gonna put this at normal you want something kind of dark and I'll give you a little preview so it's very subtle but there is an outer glow there I actually probably don't want it on these ones right here probably I'm not gonna do it on those okay so it's very subtle you probably can barely see it but there is an outer glow right there all right so let's take this we like it we love it we want more of it uh, maybe I'll duplicate it spin it I don't like that let's just leave it like this okay this will give you an idea okay so we got our alpha ready to go now the way we save this one out is we're gonna go to file save as uh, oh sorry file export export as because we want to do a JPEG and this is a way to get your JPEG and so we're gonna call this um, rad test 2 okay and the important thing about this one is you got to check this use artboards button so when you put your black um, box over your artboards go beyond your artboard just a little bit okay and then when you save out your JPEG make sure you use this otherwise you may get a white uh, square around all your alpha and it looks no bueno so cool we got that save 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 we know where it's at let's go back to ZBrush guys so we're going back to ZBrush I'm gonna go back a couple steps get rid of the, those alphas that I put on there earlier so now I got I'm gonna put in our new alphas right in here okay so let's go get that new alpha so I'll go to alpha I go to import and I find rad test 2 which is right there okay I just populated my alpha area so I'm good to go now I did it very white or light colored so it's gonna stick out a lot but look at that huh there's a legit alpha for you and if I hit alt boom it cuts it in so again you can mess with the intensity intensity that's very subtle probably too subtle let me come up a little bit about 20 oh yeah I like that okay so that's a pretty set of alphas right there okay so um, I hope you enjoyed that little I hope that helped at all I know when I first learned it I was like oh this is cool but if you don't want to make your own, you can go buy mine and many others on uh, ArtStation and Gumroad. I, like I said, I just finished about 100 of them. So just look for Morgan Designs or Mike Morgan. And uh, my alphas and other kind of 3D assets will come up. And uh, follow me on ArtStation and Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'd love to see your guys' work. And... Um, Show me how you use all alphas. Um, if you get one of my kits, I'd love for you to share the work with me so I can put it on my social media and stuff and show people how other people use uh, the alphas that they create. So that would be cool. Uh, and if you got any questions, you hit me up. All my info is right here at the bottom of the screen. So I'm not too cool to answer any questions or talk to you, okay? Hope you have a great day and happy 3D modeling.